Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, this is my channel, Shra Thinks, where I talk about all things health anxiety related. So if you are a health anxiety sufferer, hopefully you will find some videos here that will comfort you because we all know uh, how hard it can be. But in this video, what I want to be talking about today is mundane task focusing and how we can turn these mundane tasks into uh, an act of mindfulness. So it's, you know, well known that our anxiety is worse when we have more time on our hands, right? This is why people will often say, well, you know, my anxiety wasn't that bad today, but I was really busy at work or, you know, I was, I, I spent the day with friends. So um, a lot of people will say this, that, you know, when they're on their own, when they have nothing to do, that's when their mind starts to wander. And it's because when we are distracted and we're, uh, stimulated, whether that be with friends at work or, you know, whatever, um, our brain has something to focus on. And so because it has something to focus on, we are less uh, anxious. Now, there's lots of things that we do in our day that are mundane tasks, right? So things that we do repeatedly every single day, like brushing our teeth, you know, doing the dishes, doing the ironing, um, I don't know, hoovering, uh, mowing the lawn, these kind of things that our brain doesn't really have to work that hard, right? And some people will find that even though that's keeping them busy, that their mind will wander, right? Because I do the dishes every day and my brain doesn't really have to think about what it's doing anymore because it's a habitual thing that I've done for a long, long time. So what we want to do is we want to take these tasks, these moments where our brain starts to wander and we want to implement some uh some mindfulness so ways that we can do this as an example is when i uh brush my teeth in the morning every single morning you know i wake up and brush my teeth well i do that so instinctively because it's something that i do twice a day every single day so my mind can wander and we want to try and prevent that so what I might do is when I'm brushing my teeth, just count backwards from 90. So what I'm doing is I'm taking that mundane task, that thing that I do every single day, um, and I'm just using that time to implement a bit of mindfulness, right? And it really, really works because, and your mind, you know, it could wander, uh, but you just go back to it, right? If, you, if your mind wandered at, you know, 56, you just keep, you know, you remember the last number, and you just keep going. 55, 54, 53, you know, and your, your brain, you're using your brain, but you're not allowing it to kind of think about what if this, what if that, what if I've got this disease, what if I've got that disease, right? And, you know, we can do it for longer tasks. So for example, another one that I really like to do is when I'm doing the dishes. So uh, when I do the dishes, my, my kitchen and my window looks out onto my garden. So what I do, um, and I do this most days, is I say to myself, right, let's name 30 things that we can see. So normally what happens is I name all the obvious things first, like my shed, the kids' slide, the wall, the decking. And I get to about, you know, 15, 20, and I have to start looking specifically. And I'm like, mm, okay, oh, there's a robin by there, or I can see the clouds, um, I can see the sun behind the tree. Um, you know, I can see um, a butterfly or whatever. And again, what that does is I'm still doing my task, I'm still doing the dishes, still cleaning up, but I'm just controlling my mind. I am preventing it from wandering off, which is, you know, for me, when I'm doing these mundane tasks, that is when I feel that my most vulnerable to kind of those negative thoughts um, and that rumination that my brain, you know, often does. Um, again, you know, with other things like ironing or hoovering, that's another time where our health anxiety can pounce because it's like, oh, she's not uh, using her brain. Let me tell you about this disease or let's talk about that headache you had yesterday or let's think about those blood tests that you had done six months ago. You know, you know what health anxiety is like. So again, it's, you know, I might, when I'm hoovering, I might tune into my senses. So, you know, what three things can I hear? Well, I can hear the hoover, but I can hear my kids in the background and I can hear the TV. You know, what things can I smell? Well, I can smell, um, I don't know, the, the, the toast that the kids had this morning. Um, I can smell my air freshener. You know, what can I see? Well, I can see, um, 
you know, the, the kids' shoes on the floor here? You know, what can I taste? Well, I can still taste the peanut butter that I had this morning or the smoothie that I had. You know, it's just, it's essentially what we're doing is we're just trying to do something in that moment that prevents our mind from wandering, right? And it's a really, really good way to train our brains cognitively, basically. You know, it, it's it's that uh, getting our, getting that monkey mind, as we call it, trying to contain that a little bit. Because like I said, you know, when we do these mundane tasks, it does give our brains an opportunity to worry about X, Y, and Z. Um, and you can do it, you know, you can, you can, pick whatever activity that it is that you class as mundane um it might be different for each and every person I you know we're all different in that way but for me it's mostly you know chores day-to-day -day things that I have to do every single day putting the clothes away you know the laundry the hoovering the dishes um the you know even like blow drying my hair or straightening my hair these are all um times that my mind can wander um and it's okay to let your mind wander at times too. But I think when our anxiety is quite high, what we want to do is we want to kind of, you want to cap that. Um, and so mundane task focusing is a really, really good way to do that. So it's just literally taking that task and t trying to turn it into a moment of mindfulness. And like I said, you can tune into your senses, you can count backwards, you can make a list of what you can see. Um, you could play like a word association game with yourself. Um, you know, the, 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 the results are endless and you might come up with your own ideas. But those are some of the things that I personally do that I think that really work well for me. And again, like I said, especially when my anxiety is high and I don't want my mind to wander is when I'll kind of do these things. Um, but give them a go because I think it's a really good and easy tool that we can use. You know, we all have these mundane tasks that we have to do every single day. Um, and if we can take that task and actually, you know, turn it into a five minute mini meditation or mindfulness, well then, you know, that's a really good tool that we have um, and something that we can look forward to rather than think, oh gosh, I've got to do the dishes. Well, it's, yeah, I'm going to do the dishes, but I'm also going to do my mindfulness as well. So um, let me know what you think of that. And let me know if, you know, in the, in the, if you have any of your own ideas or maybe you already do this kind of subconsciously and you've never realized it, you know, let me know below in the comments. I would love to hear from you guys. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, and if you want to find me on Instagram where I make uh, health anxiety reels, you can find me at Sheryl Think. So it's the exact same name as here. And if you want to work with me and you're looking for one-to-one -one health anxiety coaching, um, I will pop the link below in the description of how you can apply for health anxiety coaching and I will uh, get back to you and explain the whole process. Um, but lovely as always, guys. I really love doing these videos. I know I always say that I want to do more of them. Um, and I always say that I'm going to do one a week and I never end up doing it, but um, I kind of just put them out when I can because I'm so busy uh, with clients and just being a mum. But I um, hope you enjoyed this video. Take care, guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye.